Imagine, if you will, sitting down to your morning coffee, turning on your home computer to read the day's newspaper. Well, it's not as far-fetched as it may seem. Is this perhaps the next big thing? In Watertown, Massachusetts, Mark Zuckerberg, creative, creator of Harvard's The Facebook... An iPod, a phone, and an internet communicator. These are not three separate devices. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. Today... The following was examples of how technology and the internet continue to grow and how more devices become connected. These devices can range from the TV to your door locks at home. The internet is allowing all of these devices to be connected to the internet. With these devices being connected to the internet, it is allowing to build smart homes, which builds smart cities. All of these is called the internet of things. IoT is an evolution of mobile, home, and embedded applications that are being connected to the internet, integrating greater compute capabilities, and using data analytics to extract meaningful information. Billions of devices will be connected to the internet, and soon, hundreds of billions of devices. As related devices connect with each other, they can become an intelligent system of systems. And when these intelligent devices and systems of systems share data over the cloud and analyze it, they can transform our businesses, our lives, and our world in countless ways. Whether it's improving medical outcomes, creating better products faster with lower development costs, making shopping more enjoyable, or optimizing energy generation and consumption. The internet of all things is to bring all devices together on one network. It can impact the world in many ways, making communication better, making life easier, and allowing technology to take control and make the world more efficient. IoT is life-changing and will impact everyone in many ways. Mobile has grown into the world's biggest technology platform, fundamentally changing the world with each new generation. And now we're planning the fifth generation. In parallel, we'll continue to push 4G LTE to its full potential, but 5G needs to go further. Much more than faster data rates, 5G will enable new services, connect new industries, and empower new experiences. 5G will connect much more than your smartphone, connecting tomorrow's homes, vehicles, robots, industries, cities, virtually everything. To connect these billions of things, 5G must scale down in cost and power, or scale up in performance to deliver mobile broadband that's not only faster, but also more uniform. 5G must also connect in new ways to empower new awareness services and deliver new levels of reliability and latency for mission-critical services. These extreme variations require a network scalable and adaptable enough to support it all. And that requires an entirely new kind of network. To connect billions of things and provide instant experiences, we need to bring content, connectivity, and computing close to people and machines. In this user-centric approach, devices become integral parts of the network, not just endpoints anymore. They'll discover and communicate directly, and even relay data beyond the range of cell towers forming truly edgeless connectivity. We also need a unified air interface, scalable across all services and spectrum bands, including higher bands like millimeter wave, providing a unified platform to meet our expanding connectivity needs in the next decade. Not only scaling along the classical dimensions, but also broader dimensions and even business dimensions. 
And it must fully leverage today's investments with a common core network that also supports 4G and Wi-Fi access and simultaneous connectivity. That's our vision of 5G. The scalability to connect everything from simple sensors to complex robots. And a user-centric design where devices are no longer just endpoints, forming a unified platform across all spectrum and services. 5G, not just a new generation, but a new kind of network. Five G will power IoT, allowing for every device to work together with fast networking and internet capabilities. Four G was a great step from three G, but it's not as powerful to run our future of connected devices. Five G is currently in research by many companies, including Qualcomm, Intel, and AT and T, and should reach us in early 2020. My last question is: Do you think we should allow everything to be connected? Should we trust something so big that it failed can hurt all of us, or is it the right step to making the rail come together as one? This is a question that only you can answer. The following videos belongs to Qualcomm, enabling. The wireless industry. Intel, experience what's inside. Apple, think different. Additional resources such as music and other videos was from YouTube.